looking at this volume, we can see that it's bound in red leather, very fine red leather with gold tooling around the edges. And this is a typical type of binding that was made for manuscript collectors in the early part of the 20th century. It was bound by a London firm called Sangorsky and Sutcliffe, and we have many manuscripts in the, in the Morgan Library and Museum that were bound by that firm and look very similar to this. But what's distinctive about this one, of course, is the coat of arms that you see right in the middle. Now that is the arms of the Marquess of Queensbury. And for those who know the story of Wilde's downfall, it's shocking to see the Queensbury arms on a volume of Oscar Wilde's letters and manuscripts because it was the ninth Marquess of Queensbury who was very much responsible for Wilde's eventual disgrace. Queensbury was the father of Lord Alfred Douglas, who was Wilde's lover. And Queensbury was just outraged by this relationship. And after trying to disrupt the opening of the importance of being earnest by bringing a bunch of rotten vegetables to, <laughs> to present to Wilde, he went to Wilde's club and left his card with a note on it calling Wilde, misspelling it of course, a somdomite. Wilde sued Queensbury for libel. And after that, Wilde himself was accused of what was then called acts of gross indecency. And then there was a criminal trial. The first resulted in a hung jury. A second criminal trial at which Wilde was convicted, sent to prison for two years hard labor. And when he got out of prison, he went to France and really declined in health for the next three years and died eventually of cerebral meningitis in 1900. So knowing the connection between Wilde and Queensberry, the man who detested Wilde with all his heart, to find the Queensberry arms on this volume is stunning. And why is it there? Well, the 11th Marquess of Queensberry, the grandson of the man I just described, was a collector, and he collected these manuscripts, so his arms appear on the volume.